So your worst fear finally happens and your pipes have a leak, which could result in thousands or tens of thousands of dollars in damage. If you have a smart leak sensor, that can alert you about the leak, but then it's still on you or someone else to go deal with the actual problem. Well, what if your water could then automatically shut off, giving you a little more time to actually deal with the problem and preventing more damage? That's exactly what a smart water shutoff valve can do, but there haven't been a lot of really good options in this space until today because Acara is launching their new T1 valve control. Acara sent me this product before the release date. I've been playing with it for a little while and it's an incredibly powerful tool, but I think you need to consider a bunch of different things before adding it to your smart home and maybe getting some unintended consequences. And thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. More on them in a minute. If you're new here, I'm Eric Wheelander. I've been an app developer on Apple platforms since 2011 and building out my smart home here on YouTube since 2018. So if you're into Apple or smart home tech, consider subscribing. Now, in order to determine if the Acara T1 valve control is right for your home, I think we need to look at three main areas. First, compatibility, then automation, and then location. But first, thanks to EcoFlow and their Rapid Magnetic Power Bank for sponsoring this video. When I first unboxed this battery, it felt to me like the iPhone battery James Bond would use. This 15 watt Qi tube magnetic battery looks sleek in silver on the outside, but is packed with a lot of hidden features. The back of the battery has a kickstand, which also enables it to create a portable standby mode thanks to MagSafe with your iPhone. It has a USB-C port on the side, which actually supports bi-directional charging. Plug in an Apple Watch cable and then mount your Apple Watch to charge it. EcoFlow also managed to pack a built-in USB-C cable in the bottom, which also works as a bi-directional charger. This leaves you with lots of options to charge this battery on the go, and it can be a minimal two-in-one charging setup combined with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery to take on trips. The built-in USB-C cable can also charge devices with the battery at 30 watts, which means you can quickly charge your iPhone, but it's also powerful enough to top up a MacBook or big iPad Pro with more juice. The Rapid Magnetic Power Bank could be a great gift for all the stylish road warriors on your list this year. You can pair it with an EcoFlow 30 watt power brick and cable for a complete charging setup. Head over to the link in my description to learn more and get the latest Black Friday deals from EcoFlow. And thanks again to EcoFlow for supporting my channel by sponsoring this video. This works with half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch pipes, and it can fit over a lever handle or a butterfly handle. Now, I only have lever handles, so that's what I tested. So that means if you have the older circular multi-turn controls for your valves, this kind of a shutoff control won't work. Now, from the smart home side, this talks to your smart home over Zigbee, so it does require an Acara bridge in order to talk to the rest of your smart home, but it doesn't always require an Acara bridge to do every part of the automation, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. But first, we gotta get this thing installed. And installation was pretty straightforward. You just slip the control over your lever handle and then fit the bottom part over the pipe, they have different fittings and adjustments to fit different size pipes that this is compatible with. And I found some of the screws to get this valve control on just to be a little bit tedious and maybe physically straining depending on where your valve is located. Your mileage may vary. Before you physically put it on your pipes, you can go ahead and install the batteries right after you unbox it and add it to your car at home right there. So then if you have any technical difficulties, which I didn't, then you can fix those before actually adding this to your pipe. And you don't need to cut open the pipes or shut off the water to install this. This is just going on the outside of your pipe on top of your existing valve control. So installation shouldn't disrupt the water flow much at all, except for maybe testing that it works to quickly shut it off and turn the water back on. Now you might already know that Acara makes their own leak sensors. They're these little circles that then have two contacts on the bottom that can detect water and those can pair directly with the T1 valve control, which speeds the communication and reduces the chance that something in the chain between the leak being detected and the water shutting off could 
cause that to not happen. So it's super nice if you've already gotten a car's leak sensors, which are very inexpensive, and you can usually get them in packs of more than one at a time. And you can use those in Apple Home and get Apple Home alerts if that's what you're into. But then, of course, you can, inside of the Cars app, tie those directly to your valve control, ensuring that if a leak is in fact detected, it will then shut off the water. As you add this to your car bridge, if that's already added to Apple Home, this accessory will show up in Apple Home as a switch. For automating, you can go into any of the leak sensors you have in Apple Home, even ones that are not made by a car, like I have an Eve water guard, and I can go in there and add an automation of when this leak sensor detects a leak, then it will go ahead and turn off this valve control. And as you're setting up automations in Apple Home or in a car or wherever else, Else, you might not want this tied to every last leak sensor in your home and just for critical ones by big pipes that could really cause a lot of damage if something bad happened. Shutting off your water is kind of a big deal. It can mess with maybe an appliance that's already running, like if your dishwasher's running and then all of a sudden your water goes off, it's better than damaging your entire home, but it's not ideal. So you risk potentially by making this smart that something in your smart home will then mistakenly trigger this switch to go off. My recommendation is to put this in a separate room in your Apple Home and also be sure that it's labeled in Apple Home as a switch or outlet instead of something like a light. This will all just make sure that talking to your home pods or someone else in your home controlling your Apple Home won't mistakenly flip this switch off and then all of a sudden your water stops working. The other thing to keep in mind is that the battery life for this is rated at two years from Acara. And the battery life is reported inside Apple Home and elsewhere, so it should be pretty easy to monitor it, but it is gonna be something you wanna keep an eye on because you wouldn't want the worst case scenario to happen when you forgot that this thing is out of battery and then not able to shut off your water for you. But on the flip side, by making this smart, if something does accidentally turn off the water, you are able to check it remotely from anywhere in the world and then turn the water back on if needed or keep it off maybe if you're gone for an extended period of time and won't need water then. Now overall in using this product, it hasn't gone unresponsive for me. It stayed in my Apple home and Acara home. The battery life for me is still listed at 100% after a couple weeks of use. I'm obviously not triggering this switch on and off all the time because I don't want to be messing with my entire home's water supply like that, but it is great to know that I have this option and it's also convenient for if you happen to be doing plumbing work elsewhere in your home where you need to turn off the water. You don't have to go all the way down to your valve to turn it off. You can just do it straight from your phone or any other smart smart home control. And based on my experience with other Acara Zigbee products, I feel like they have that whole system down and it's probably going to remain pretty reliable on into the future if their other Zigbee accessories are any indication. Another nice touch from Acara is that you can also physically turn the switch on or off right at the valve control. So if you're not able to get to it from your smart home or maybe someone working on your home is there, they can get instructions from you or or someone on how to take care of this switch and do it without having to have access to the rest of your smart home. And the beauty of it is that then the status of your water valve updates, so you're still able to see if the water valve is in the off or on position, even if someone shut it off by just pulling the lever right there at the pipe. So this is a really powerful tool that if properly deployed could save you a ton of money, but it could also provide a bunch of inconvenience if you don't think through all the details of where you want it and how you want to set up the automations. So I'll leave a link for the Acara T1 valve control in the description if you're interested, as well as a link to EcoFlow's battery we talked about in the sponsorship. Thanks again to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Thanks again so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.